Ackerman, Peter Harry, and Fernando Villarreal. The referee in charge of the action is Johnny Callis. This bout will be eight rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first in the red corner wearing the blue trunks with white trim, he weighed in at an even 127 pounds. His record stands 21 victories, including six by knockout, opposite of three defeats. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting Pablo Cruz. And introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the navy blue with gold trim, he weighed in at 126.8 pounds. His record undefeated, 21 victories, including 14 by knockout, no defeats. Fighting out of Tag Bilaran City, Boho, Philippines, presenting Mark Magnifico Maxayo. And once again, the referee in charge of the action, Johnny Callis. Pablo, Mark, you received your instruction in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, but above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now, touch them up, and the bell rings come out in box. Good luck. Giving new life to the Filipino tradition of boxing on Sunday mornings, this is round one. One Sports and One Sports Plus, Carlo Pamintuan and Karen Elorde on the call, dalawang boxingero Filipino. Tatayo sa loob ng ring to represent our country, the first of which is Mark Magnifico Magsayo. His second fight back after a long break from the sport of boxing. Now let's see how this now Freddy Roach trained fighter will show up against a veteran also and a opponent in Cruz. These are your featherweights at the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. An eight rounder again, Magsayo last fought against Rigoberto Hermosillo after a one year layoff. Eked out the split decision in that one 100 to 90, 96 94. And then one of the judges scoring it 96 to 94 for his opponent, Hermosillo. It was a surprisingly tough battle for Magsayo during his return, Garen. Yeah, so that his last fight against uh, Hermosillo. Uh, we saw how aggressive he was, pero medyo matibay talaga yung nakalaban niya. It ended up with a split decision. Sabi ni Magsayo in multiple interviews that we've had with him is Freddy Roach is continuing to work on his game. Sa kanyang footworks, sa kanyang mga suntok, shorten the punches, make sure that he's not out of control. What do you want to see him, to see from him sa pag-uumpisa ng laban? Well, dito sa start pa lang, mapapansin natin na very patient si Magsayo. Talagang tinatansya na mabuti itong kalaban niya. And you can see his, his feet very balanced siya at saka hindi siya flat-footed. His opponent, Pablo Cruz, has a decent record of 21 wins, tatlong talo. Kaso hindi gaano mabigat yung suntok nito with only 6 knockouts in his 21 wins. So at least in terms of power, you don't have to worry too much for Igor Simagsayo. Yes, but well, hindi pa rin pwede maging complacent. And as you can see, he's very uh, tactical right now. He's very smart na nagbibigay siya enough space to attack and move back. Pablo Cruz wearing a lighter blue shade. About dark blue naman ang suot nitong Simagsayo. Cruz last four in January 30. Of 2021, a uh, unanimous decision verdict against Jose Luis Caterol. Another issue with him is he has never fought more than an eight rounder. Kaya itong si Magsayo bumubari to an eight round after fighting a ten rounder in his last fight. You can see Magsayo still trying to measure out the distance. Sinusukat pa talaga kung ano yung distance ang kailangan niya para mapatamaan. Itong kalaban niya. Good work so far coming from Magsayo. Nothing ah. reckless. Very calculated yung first three minutes ng kanyang laban. More of the intense boxing action when we return.
You're watching Jerwin and Cajas defending his IDF Junior Bantamweight title against Jonathan Rodriguez here on One Sports Plus. Why is it important to establish your jab early in the fight? Well, for Matsayo, knowing him as a fighter, mapapansin mo yung jab talaga niya, mas ginagamit niya na. And pag makita mo lang lumabas yung right hand niya, yun na alam mo lang he's gonna go for that kid. Pero itong pag ginagamit pa lang yung jab niya, he's still trying to measure up and see kung anong strength meron tong si Pablo Cruz. Si Magsayo working in the corner there with Freddy Roach, assistant trainer Marvin Somodi, of course, the Philippines. Also helping out sa pagsasanay nito si Magsayo. He has been in the U.S. Hindi na ito umuwi, no? Since he last fought. Since last picking up that victory. So a lot of training, a lot of teaching coming from Freddy Roach should really help out Magsayo towards this next chapter of his career. It's a really good combination coming from Magsayo, no? Body head, yung combination niya, binitawan niya doon. Cruz also trying to establish his jab here in the second round. Masayo still not launching a lot of power punches, missing wildly with that hook. Upward to the body, Dios, to mama, yung left hook, good hook to the chin. Actually, it is some sort of an issue para dito kay Pablo Cruz because his only knockout loss came by a punch that was the same as that landed by Mark Magnifico Magsayo, no? yung left hook. So you know he has an issue defending with that right hand. And I think that's scary for him right now na naramdaman niya yun, yung power ni Mark Magsayo. So far, Magsayo keeping it very clean. Ayaw magmatama halos dito kay Pablo Cruz. And this plays into what Freddy Roach wants to mold him as. Hit and not be hit. Be economical with your punches. Stay aggressive. Pero hindi ka mawawala dapat sa balance. Yun yung laging tinuturo ni Coach Freddy Roach. Yes, and mapapansin mo talagang siya yung aggressor for this fight. But you can see that Pablo Cruz, oy, palaman talaga, no? As Matsayo scores a knockdown here. Three, four, Referee five, John Callias reaches the eight count. I think he's okay. Mas ano pa eh, mas uh, gulat siguro yung nagdala ng knockdown na yun. His feet weren't set. Yes. Pero nakatikim na nga rin siya nitong power ni Mark Matsayo. Definitely a good knockdown. Like what he says, yun nga yung weakness niya, yung chin niya, and dun siya natamahan ni Mark Magsayo. Let's see how Bruce tries to recover from that initial knockdown. So this is a 10 round so far for Mark Magsayo. Which should be good for his confidence as well. He's not, he was not looking for the kill, pero malinis talaga yung napatama niya causing that knockdown. He's still very patient right now. Ayaw niya masyado nga maging reckless. Kahit na napapaksak niya na to si Cruz. Oh, nice uppercut. Two uppercuts landing for Magsayo. Solid round for Mark Magnifico Magsayo showing us the punching power that has made him one of the top prospects, top young prospects in Philippine boxing. You see the corner in si Pablo Cruz already working on him. Let's see that knockdown one more time. It was just a jab. That floored itong si Magsayo as this fight is brought to you by Big Boss Cement. Green is good. And that was your gorilla punch of the round. A jab scoring the knockdown for Magsayo.
Garen, how do you recover mentally from being floored like that? Well, he did a very good job recovering from that knockdown. Nakita mo naman, he stood up. Uh, hindi niya pinakita na, na knockdown siya. Talagang ayaw niyang pakita na saktan siya. And that mentally for your opponent is good. Ay, bad pala for Mark. Oh, that hook once again landing flush. And this time, Pablo Cruz is really hurt from that strong punch coming from Magsayo. He will try to shake it off. And the referee really trying to judge if he is fit to continue. Pero napag-usapan natin, Garen, no? That left hook continuing to be a problem defensively for Pablo Cruz. And now Magsayo is going in for the kill. Referee John Callas looking on. Deciding if he will allow Cruz to continue as Magsayo is pouring in the punches right now. And unfortunately for Cruz, Garen, naging maaga yung pagkatama niya dito sa third round. And Magsayo has two more minutes to try and finish him off here in the third. But as we also discussed earlier, hindi pinit. Yung magiging atake ni Magsayo, even if he has Cruz hurt, he is not being reckless with his punches. And if you can see Magsayo's eyes, talagang hindi siya gigit. He's just really going for that skill. Alam niya yung dapat niyang gawin. Those are three left hooks landing consecutively for Magsayo. No defense whatsoever from Cruz. I mean, at this point, he'll have to stick that right hand near his chin para protectahan niya because that has been a huge opening, a huge hole in his defense. Looks like Pablo Cruz has recovered nicely, bounced back nicely from being floored very early with a stiff left hook here in the third round. Magsayo, very patient, looking for his openings. Pero aggressor pa rin. Itong si Pablo Cruz still moving forward, still, you know, chasing. Itong si Magsayo, even if he has already hit the canvas twice in this fight. Very active jab coming from Pablo Cruz, but those are meek replies to the onslaught that Magsayo had here in the third round. 23 more seconds. Let's see if Pablo Cruz will survive it. Another nice stiff jab landing right in the face of Cruz. Oh, nice combination. Those were the cleanest punches that Cruz uh, have landed. Here in this entire matchup, but still, if you look at the scoring, those are back-to-back 10-8 -back rounds for Mark Magnifico Magsayo. And you can see the blood already trickling down the cheek of Pablo Cruz here as we enter the fourth round. Isang makasawang sweet na sweet. Sensya ka na mahal. Ito na yung kaya ng budget natin. Sensya na. Mawin ako next time. Na may kambal na bibot mababait. Mommy, you're cute with the look, and you're holding a vintage steady, developed by two toy makers. Oh, I like that. What do you want, Mom? Please? Madalas man silang nagigipit, lagi pa rin silang positive. <laughs> silang pamilyang chak magbibigay ng good vibes sa'yo ngayong taon. Ano, hindi ko lang tong. Fight, fight, fight! John Young Ellen. Those nice uppercuts landing for Mark Magsayo. Combination punching capped by that impressive left hook. We've said earlier in the broadcast that yun yung buta sa depensa. And mukhang nabasa rin talaga ni Magsayo na yun yung kailangan niyang atakihin dito kay Cruz. <laughs> Pero nakakabili din talaga to si Cruz. Tayo rin siya agad kahit after the knockdown. The first one was more of the flash variety. You get floored with a jab, nagulat ka ng konti, wala yung balance mo, nahulog ka. But that second one definitely hurt. 
itong si Pablo Cruz. As we said earlier, only one knockout loss in his entire career. So you know na matibay din itong si Cruz. Let's see how Magsayo tries to build on that success that he had in the third. Kaya rin impressive din yung mga binibitawang uppercuts itong si Magsayo this fight. Yes, yun yung mga papansin natin naging parang additional ano niya, uh, na-train niya for uh, double uppercuts, triple hooks, at lahat yun pasok at effective. Kita mo na yung pisngi, oh. Yung tinatamaan ng left hook. Oh, another right this time. And itong si referee John Callias rescues. Pablo Cruz from further beating. He has seen enough. Mark Magnifico Magsayo with a walk-off knockout victory here in the fourth round. What a performance coming from Magsayo. We were talking about it earlier. His first fight back from a year off, you can see the ring rust. But now, you can see the old version of Magsayo in terms of aggression, in terms of power, but balanced out with whatever he has learned from Coach Freddy Roach so far. And like you said, being under Freddy Roach, talagang pagaling ng pagaling lang to si Mark Magsayo. And that was your gorilla punch of the round. The knockout blow, the right straight mula kay Mark Magnifico Magsayo. The first two knockdowns were scored with the left hand, pero yung pangtapos niyang laban, his vaunted right straight. And that is referee John Callas not even giving Pablo Cruz the count. There's no need for it as he was simply outclassed, totally outmatched by Mark Magsayo, who improves his record to 22 wins, undefeated still with 15 knockouts to his name. And the president of MP Promotions, Sean Gibbon, saying that he is hoping that with a victory here, Mark Magsayo moves closer to a possible title shot, and he's right there. Got it. If you, if you look at all the governing bodies that have him ranked, WBC and the IVF both have him at 5th, WBO has him at 8th, and the WBA has him at 10th. So if you are hovering in that top 10 rankings, one or two victories should be enough to get you into title contention. See Pablo Cruz congratulating the winner. He was floored with a jab in the second round, floored with a left hook after a volley of uppercuts in the third round, and then finally floored for good with a right straight in the fourth. Coach Freddy Roach surely happy with the performance of his award. Garrett, from his last fight to this fight, what were the improvements that na nakita mo mula kay Magnifico Magsayo? Well, from his last fight, makikita mo, if you watched it, talagang gusto niya enough down sa aming kalaban niya. Pero makikita na matibay din at palaban yung last opponent niya. But now, we, kahit na nanggigigil siya, I mean, hindi niya pinakita na gustong gusto niya maka, makapag-knockout. Well, he was very careful and very aggressive, but he was playing very smart also. Well, Shepard under coach Freddy Roach na binibigyan siya ng advice every time. Defense also marked improvement for Mark Magsayo. Barely touched in this four-round fight. Masipag yung jab ni Pablo Cruz, but it barely did any sort of damage kay Magsayo as he was very good on his feet. Stayed smart, stayed patient, waited for the opening, waited for that perfect opportunity to go for the kill. And that happened in the fourth round. What a victory, a huge one for Mark Magnifico Magsayo. Now 22 wins with 15 knockouts as we have the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 48 seconds into round number four. For your winner, by knockout and still undefeated, Mark Magnifico Magsayo. Mark Magnifico Magsayo officially your winner by a knockout in the fourth round. And that is a good start to the campaign of the Philippines here in what should be an entertaining, entertaining day of boxing. 
Kaya may alamang. Nalaban din. The IBF champion. Yan, 115 pounds. Sherwin Angkahas. At Mark Magsayo. Giving us a great performance as an appetizer. Bigger and brighter things looking in the future for Mark Magsayo. And we will be back with more boxing here in round one. More knockout.